when you don't know what to create, I have a few simple tools for you that will help you come back to your creativity so that you have a way to re-enter the creative flow very easily without having to think about it because usually it's our thinking that gets in the way of doing. Our thinking gets in the way of taking action. I've learned that producing creative work on demand or just showing up and doing my art doing my writing, it really has to do with being willing to begin over and over again. The first tip I want to give you when you are concerned about facing a blank page is to begin with simple tools and basic mark making. You can test out your supplies and let me just show you a couple ways I would approach this. So this sketchbook has some things in it already but let's just go to a blank page the blank page can be intimidating especially if you haven't seen one in a while and you might be wondering what in the heck am i going to do so where i would start with this is with some simple mark making here i have some colored pencils and crayons that i just keep handy on my table I would begin with just making some marks. I happen to love scribbling and abstract mark making. You can make shapes, symbols, marks, whatever appeals to you, but start with whatever color appeals to you or whatever color you're grabbing first or just any old thing. I love to go off the page. And so right away, you've obliterated the blank page. You don't have to know what you're doing. Your thinking hasn't gotten in the way of taking action because you don't have to know what you're doing in order to create and especially to start creating. I want to show you a couple other tools for obliterating the blank page. And what I think I'm going to do is just go over this, what I've shown you here. So keeping a sketchbook that you think of as your journal. In other words, you're not doing this to show or sell, but if you think of it like a diary, it's gonna serve you really well. A visual diary, a visual journal, or an art journal. I just poured some acrylic paint here onto the page. It's very liquidy. And now I'm gonna spread this paint around. You can use a gift card. This is one of those tools they use for car repair, like to put on Bondo or something. I think that's what it's called. But I'm really enjoying how inky this looks on my paper. And actually I have quite a bit of paint left here. I think I wanna cover up that dot. Okay, good. So I've got this paint and it's still wet. And I'm gonna scrape off the rest on the back. And then a couple other tools that you can use for mark making is to make your marks into wet paint. Let me do it first before the paint dries and then I'll show you what I'm doing, what I'm working with. Oh, this is so satisfying. What I'm using here is a piece of bamboo with a point on it. I got this at an art store. I don't know what the technical name for this is, but I've loved these. I don't know. Someone gave one to me a long time ago, and now I can't live without it. If you don't have one of those, look in your kitchen drawer and see if you have a barbecue skewer. So you would use, I would use this for veggies to make kebabs. <laughs> for the grill. And of course I didn't use it for its intended purpose to grill. I use it as an art supply and that makes a very satisfying mark. It's very pointy because it's meant to skewer meat or veggies. Okay. So there's that. You might already have one of these in your kitchen drawer. And then another thing you can look for, this is a paint brush that has a tip on it. It's angled. It's got a point to it, also for making marks. 
And to me, this looks like pencil on top of paint, which is an effect I like a lot. So those are a few things you can try. No experience necessary. You can do this in any type of journal that you have around, any type of sketchbook. My tip for you when you don't know what to do or coming back to your creativity after an absence is to definitely keep a sketchbook as a way to practice. You might call it an art journal. Go abstract. In other words, don't worry about making images, but play with abstraction, play with mark making, and use this as an opportunity to test out how your supplies work. That's a great trick that you can play on your analytical, perfectionistic brain and mind that wants to know what it's doing before it begins and thinks that everything it should do should have some meaning or perfection in it. And for me, the meaning of this is quite simple. It might not look at, like anything to you, and that's kind of the point. The point for me is, and the meaning that it has is, I'm creating, I'm obliterating the blank page, I'm working in my sketchbook, I'm doing my creative practice, and the minute I begin, the minute I begin making marks, the minute I begin playing with paint and pushing paint around and playing with my art supplies, I feel better. And to me, that is 100% the point. You do this because it makes you feel good. And when we're able to do our art as a creative practice, as a way to feel better, it will naturally take us to wherever it is we think we really want to go in our creativity and our art. But the key is to have a creative practice and have some simple tools to confront the blank page in a non-threatening way. I hope that this video helps you confront the blank page of your creative sketchbook or your art journal and think about things in a different way, letting go of perfection. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button. That really helps me out on YouTube. Thanks so much. Take care.